Hey guys, I'm making this video for, I believe it's Amy Faxolotl or Fatsolotl. Um, she was asking about direction for starting a goldfish tank. Um, if you're interested in fantails, I think you would pretty much have pretty good luck with fantails from like Petco or PetSmart. I've, I've had some pretty rad fantails from PetSmart. When you're picking a fantail, um, I would make sure that there's no fish that are dead. One, fish that are dead in the tank. Fish that are dead in the tanks directly next to it. Make sure everything is looking healthy. And if they have quite a few fantails, I would pick like the one that just sticks out from the rest that has the most energy, like the most, you know, rambunctious one. I would pick that guy because he's probably the healthiest. And then also look at them, make sure that, you know, there's no white spots on them or make sure that their uh, dorsal isn't corroding at all. That can be a problem with some pet store fish. Um, the main thing is just make sure there's no like sick fish or um, like fish that are just floating up here in the corner and like aren't doing anything. I would just go somewhere else if this, if your local fish store, pet smart, whatever looks, the fish are looking lethargic, I would just go to another one and find a place that takes really good care of their fish. Um, same thing with Oranda. I'm going to have less problems with fantails just because they're, they're just prone to less issues. Um, beginning fish, I fantail would actually be a really good idea. Um, I had a really cool calico one last year that I loved. You, you'll, you'll love fantails. They're really fast. They have a single tail, so they're really quick. And I don't know, some of them are really cool and do little dances for food and... I would, I would probably go with Fantail from a PetSmart or Petco. But if you find a cool Randa, you know, it, it's completely up to you, whatever whatever you like. Just, I would use those same guidelines, make sure there's no sick fish around, make sure there isn't dead fish in the tank. Um, don't buy any like feeder fish because they're gonna have like lots of dead fish in those tanks. Those aren't good um, starter fish. And then for setting up your tank, um, I just set this one up today. For these two guys, I wanted, I wanted them to get grown a little more, so I'm going to kind of grow them out in here. Um, a heater. For your fantails from Petco, you could probably, if, depending on how what your water is like in, in your area, uh, 70 to 74 for them um, the fish from Thailand I keep them 78 to 81 but honestly Petco pet smart fish you, you might not need to and in that case you might not need a heater if your if your tank stays like 72 I would check it and you might not even need a heater in that case um, so regular hang on the back filter or sponge filter or both I would do sponge filter and a hang on the back filter for a little tank with baby fantails um, this came this hang on the back came with that tank I just put it over here because it was free it works all right I took all the stuff out and put my own um, media in it um, you're also gonna need an air pump and an air stone and those are cheap. Uh, this one over here, I think this one on Amazon is like seven bucks or something like that. It's really cheap. Get some airline. They sell airline. No, airline. You guys notice airline is really expensive now. It shouldn't be. It's like the cheapest plastic in the whole world. So you're gonna need some. Just the package of airline. I'm gonna cut the length of. Uh, how long it is from here to your air pump and then plug in your air pump 
see what else do you need uh, when you fill up your tank you're gonna need to use water conditioner to get um, what's it say on here chlorine and chloramine detoxifies ammonia nitrate and nitrite you're gonna want to use just a little bit of this in here I wouldn't go crazy maybe a fourth of a cap that'll Take care of anything that's possibly in your city's water as far as ammonia um, and uh, chlorine a lot of uh, city water has chlorine in it I don't think well, some people don't realize it but there is chlorine in city water so that needs to be out or it'll burn them and that's not good for goldfish um, Another thing, I'll put a picture of these right here. Uh, Aquion sells these beneficial bacteria balls. For starting a tank, I would get a pack of like eight and put them in something. You could just throw them all in your hang on the back filter and then they'll, they'll slowly start putting uh, beneficial bacteria into your water. And then you're also gonna want something that's gonna keep the beneficial bacteria. There's a little, uh, sorry. <laughs> Get a little package of Seachem Matrix, and that's gonna hold the beneficial bacteria. It has little pores. It's pretty much just little pumice rocks. Fill up the bottom of your hang on the back filter with that, and just leave it in there. And then that's gonna get those balls are gonna seed the uh, rocks and then eventually your tank is gonna cycle but keep those little balls in there and you sh really shouldn't have any fish death like these things are pretty amazing now compared to the liquid beneficial bacteria would totally recommend them and you'll probably have less chances of a fish dying for no reason I hope this video helps um, let me know what you get what are they eating over there what are they doing I'm crazy. Just put them in here today. Um, like I said, I wanted to see a little bit more growth out of them. Anybody notice this? Her colors are going crazy on her head. And she's turning completely orange. Like, <laughs> she's like a brown sugar's baby. Just turning. Look at her. Totally orange. Goodness gracious. I cleaned this tank today. What a pain in the butt. Like, I'm not sure about these tall tanks. Kind of weird. Like it's a little different than uh, I'd rather clean my 75 gallon than this thing, honestly. But yeah, I'm gonna leave her in here by herself for a little bit until I get another male and just see if she grows a little bit. She's pretty huge, so I don't really care if she grows or not. But give her all of her own space and then. I have this little canister filter over here and uh, this hang on the back filter there. I hope this helps Amy. Um, let me know what you get and I hope this helps anybody that's watching. Take care and have a great weekend.